yesterday's episode, we spent a lot of time reshaping this blade. I think, now that I think back, we spent way too much time. Then we looked at these scissors that came. Well, we didn't waste too much time doing that. Now, let's see if we can get this little decal right here on this spot that we had put the uh, Tamiya clear on uh, the other day. Uh, day before yesterday now, I guess. And uh, if you're wondering what decal, it's this one right here. Now, if you remember at the end of yesterday's episode, I was apologizing to Tennessee Jim about not using his uh, mini Q-tips here. Normally what you could use is just an ordinary Q-tip or cotton bud to uh, slide your decal. Like on a decal this large, it would work really well. But a decal this small, it just, you, you wouldn't be able to see it. And your decal is going to end up sticking to it. Um, so we're going to use the mini, mini Q-tip here or cotton bud or whatever you want to call it wherever you live and we'll use it to slide our decal off of the paper here and onto this uh, prepared surface and um, it's it was it was with the Tamiya clear not the flat clear but the other one um, this one right here yeah we put a little bit on with a brush about oh I'm guessing I was going to say two days ago now, but it's not quite two days ago we put this on. Anyway, for sure, it's, it's dry. I took this shot for a reason, and the reason is this. You've often heard me say I am seeing it incredibly sharp and in stereo. And undoubtedly there's been people thinking, Oh, poor old guy, he doesn't realize that there's only one objective and it's being split into two eyepieces by a prism. <laughs> he thinks it's in stereo. Nope. There's really two low-power microscopes converging on that piece. And I am seeing it so clear. Now this shot here, I'm just going to let it run at real time. I'm not going to edit anything out. And every once in a while, it's going to be like, now what do I do? Uh, where did I put this? Uh, when I take the cap off this micro set for the first time, is there going to be another seal on there that I'm going to have to take off? And I actually was thinking that. That was the first time I'd taken that cap off. Yes, sirree, as the old saying goes, when I say these videos are unscripted, Boy, are they ever unscripted. You're seeing it as it happens. Now, this is the very first time that I'm actually using Microset. Not Solvaset. Solvaset I've used before. I'm familiar with that. And I think I allude to this. I think that Solvaset and Microset are basically the same thing, except the Solvaset is infinitely more strong. Now, I should have been moving faster here. I allowed the microset to sort of dry. I don't think that was a good idea. I think with it, when you put your decal down on the surface, yeah, the the uh, microset is supposed to be still a little bit liquidy, and the decal can float around on it. Now, as you're going to see, it does work out in the end. Now, I have said this before in this series, and I'm going to say it again. This is not a tutorial on how to build a plastic model. And this is not a tutorial on how to put on decals. If the instructions that come with the product tell you to do something different to what you see me doing, well, for goodness sakes, do it the way the uh, manufacturer suggests. They undoubtedly have spent a lot of time testing it before they actually put it on the market.
you're going to notice that as soon as I touch the decal with the mini Q-tip that it's going to very quickly start absorbing the microset that we actually need to help move the decal around. Might have been a good idea to have dipped the mini Q-tip into the microset before I actually did this. And that way the, the microset that was on the surface wouldn't be sucked up into the Q-tip. Now the idea is I want to get it right up against to where the you'll notice that there's sort of a, a little ridge right along the edge there. I want to have the black. When it comes to sharpness and clarity, I think my videos probably approach professional quality. And occasionally I'll speak in tones of authority. And it might sort of mislead people that to think that I know what I'm doing. I'm just having a good time here. You're just watching what happened to me today. As I've said before, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Try to remember all of them. Okay, now let's try and wick a little bit of the micro set off of there using my brush. Now, very carefully that I don't move it. All I want to do is just absorb it off the edges. I don't think it's going to want to move now. My grandfather used to have a saying that I can remember him saying many times. In fact, in my mind, I can actually hear him saying it. And that was, there is more than one way to skin a cat. Now, undoubtedly, if you're a cat lover, you bristled a little bit when you heard that. Well, blame Grandpa. It was his saying. Now, what he was getting at, of course, was obvious. There's many ways to do things. However, there is a best way, and in all likelihood, it would be the manufacturer's instructions, especially when it comes to painting and solutions and stuff like this. Go by what they say, not by what this old Canadian's telling you. Okay, now let's put a little bit of Solvacet on it for a few minutes, or a few seconds, maybe. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Now the Salva set is, a, is much stronger. It's the same, same kind of thing as far as I'm concerned. Now the Salva set and the Micro set are much the same thing in that they both allow you to move the decal around because they sort of float in the solution. However, the Salva set is so strong, I have found that it will eventually dissolve the decal to the point that all you have left is sort of like jelly or goo and you're screwed. Okay, here we come. That, that may have been too much. Let's try and wick some of that away with a big brush. And now the question begs, why use the Salva set? If the micro set has already helped you to position exactly your decal, why bother? Well, my experience is that it helps along, along the edges especially to blend the edges in so that you don't really see the edge of the decal as much. Uh, also, uh, it softens the decal to the point that it's kind of like a real soggy pancake and it's sort of uh, c the decal will conform to the contours of whatever it's sitting on. Now, that's my experience and I believe that's what it's for. Uh, it's worked for me anyway. Okay, maybe the small brush would have been better here. Uh, I'd like to have that, <clears throat> the, uh, where the edge is I'd like to have it just sort of go right down and I don't know if I dare try to put any more Salva set on there or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. See on the edge that's closest to you, I'd like to have it kind of dissolve right into the okay you know what I, th I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave that and let that evaporate and 
and then we'll do the time lapse thing here and let it dry. Let's see if I can if I can get some of this wicked in that's down in the little trough there. You notice how I, well I can see it because I'm looking straight down on it. And just on the edge there, wick some of that away. Okay, now let's uh, just let that uh, sit for a while. We'll let it dry. I might use the uh, uh, the blower on it a bit, just very, very gently. So anyway, here comes the time-lapse thing. Now I should explain about the heat gun here. I would not do this with the heat gun if uh, on the real model. Um, I would let the solver set just slowly evaporate, and it does. It completely evaporates, and it doesn't seem to leave any residue on the plastic, at least not much. Must leave something, though. Um, well, though, maybe it maybe not. Maybe it's sort of like the Tamiya Extra Thin, that when it evaporates, it's sort of all gone, leaves uh, hardly any residue and definitely nothing behind. Now, I'm pretty sure that that is, uh, that that is dry. We'll give it another few minutes and then we'll put uh, the Tamiya flat on it and see if we can, you know, hide that uh, gloss paint that was on there, that gloss clear. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's pretty good. Yesterday when the postman came and delivered our little package, you can see him scan it. Now, if you look at the top of the screen, I know it's a little bit hard to read, but the security system is saying 10.15. Now later on I got a little bit curious and I thought I wonder what time it did go out for delivery. 9.05 and then it says delivered 10.15. <laughs> I guess if they're right about the 10.15 right to the minute they're probably right about the 9.05 as well. Now I'm finding this a little bit interesting. Uh, yeah, well, I could have talked about the rabbits I guess. About 18 hours has passed here now. And uh, I was just checking my comments, and one of the viewers said to me what, uh, something to the effect of, check the position of your crane as compared to Stefan's drawings. And uh, I'm just wondering if maybe I've had it plugged into the wrong place here. Well, I'll find it and we'll take a look. Normally I open it up and it falls open to the right page, but not this time. Okay, superstructure funnel area. It is, it's kind of the funnel area. Oh, maybe we'll find a, a picture that depicts the entire ship here. Okay, here we are, looking straight down. Okay, this is where I was plugging it in. No, I, I was doing it right. So to that viewer, I guess I misunderstood you. I, I don't know what you meant when you meant when you were saying check the position of the crane because uh, you can see the base of the crane right here and that's that's where I was plugging it in. Anyway, all right, maybe you meant something else. And in the meantime, let's just put a little uh, coat of flat on top of the decal we put on. Um, I am looking quite clearly at my decal right now and I am not happy with the way the solvacet has dissolved the edges of the decal now that it's all dried out. And uh, if I look at the one that I put on months ago when I used only solvacet and I did not treat the uh, the uh, surface of the paint with the Tamiya clear the the edges of the decal blend in with the paint much better so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put some set on there and just sort of redo it see if I can get it to, to sort of blend in um, the, the way I just did it, you know, here a little while ago is, is, is the first time I've ever done it exactly like this. I've never bothered with a microset before. I've never used the Tamiya Clear before. I've always just put it right on the paint. Uh, but to me, there, there's much more, it's much more definitive. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll stick the macro lens on and I'll bring you over and I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
Okay, once again, I'm kind of thinking out loud here. And uh, this is the one that, that I did without using the, uh, the uh, to me, a clear coat first. Um, yeah, I, uh, I just put it right on the paint there, if you remember. And if you if you notice, the edges seem to feather out and blend in. You yes, you can see where it is, but if you look over here on this one, well, yeah, it's trimmed down really, really nice. Except that I can. It seems to me that the edge of the decal is much more defined here than it is here. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll I'll slip the super macro on, and we'll 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 just re we'll resaturate this. And, and just leave it for a while and we'll do the time lapse thing. Um, gonna do my best here. Okay, we're viewing it at a bit of an angle here, so the top and the bottom might be a little bit fuzzy, but the center and the sides should be sharp. Now we'll just saturate this. Just going to let that sit for a while. Make sure I've got enough. Okay, we'll start the time lapse now. <laughs> about 25 minutes has passed now. Um, we'll, we'll check, uh, do a before and after of this, this edge right here. I think that's the one that really shows up. Is it going to look a little bit more rounded over? I know that you're going to be able to see something there, but uh, uh, maybe I'll slide it over to the other one. I hope that's still in focus, but the, the other one is the one that we did not use the uh, Tamiya Clear on the, as a base coat. It's just right on the bare paint. And it almost seems to be better, except that it has to be covered with, uh, you know, with the flat clear, which we, w which we will do. Anyway, let's go to the computer here and see if I can uh, do a before and after. Well, yes, you might say the edges of the decal are a little bit softer. They're not quite so defined. On the other hand, the solvacet was on there so long that it was actually starting to dissolve the decal, and the decal was starting to sort of flow away, you might say. Yeah, then eventually the solvacet evaporated out and just left it where it was. Yeah, interesting. You know, that's the first time I've ever done an experiment like that with solvacet. Now this little bottle of Solvacet, I bought this probably 40, maybe more years ago. Maybe 45 years ago. I've had it for a long, long time. And I just went on Amazon.ca just now. That's the Canadian version of Amazon. And to get a little bottle like this, it's over $30. So I thought, oh, wow. I went on the Hobby Store's website, and they sell a product that they that I believe to be similar to this, maybe identical, I don't know. But it's called Microsolve. And it's the same price as, as this Microset. Uh, it's around seven bucks. So uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, if you walk into the store and say you want a bottle of Solva Set, uh, uh, you know, you might uh, do better walking in and asking your hobby dealer if uh, Microsolve is the same as Solva Set and save yourself a big pile of money. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that in. Let's uh, let's get our uh, F our XF86 flat clear right here. A kind of funny thing happened just a few minutes ago. Well, maybe it's not so funny. I had uh, just painted this with the uh, flat clear, and uh, 
I was gonna go and clean out the uh, little brush here and I'm suddenly realizing that when I went to turn off the camera, the record, I was actually turning it on and I thought, oh no, I forgot to push record. So you did not see me putting on the flat clear. However, we're just going to let this uh, dry overnight and we'll take a close look at it tomorrow. So uh, maybe I'm getting too old for this, I don't know, I keep forgetting to push record. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and all being well, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>